Pete, what's going on, you Tilted Torchic? Today, playing some games with a flying Pikachu VMAX 310 HP. It's got the max balloon for lightning colors. Calls for 160, and they prevent all damage done to the Pokemon by basic Pokemon's attacks. Uh, but this is actually not the main attack we use with this deck. The main attack we use is actually on the flying Pikachu V, the fly attack for colors, colors, colors. We're going to have tails. The attack does nothing. If heads, though, we prevent all damage and effects done to this Pokemon during our opponent's next turn. And we get access to this attack through the memory capsule. So we get the memory capsule on the Pikachu V Max. We don't use Max Balloon, we use Fly, and then it is a coin flip, so we also play four Glimwood Tangle to increase our chances of getting a heads that turn and not getting hit by our opponent's Pokemon. And then to set all this up, we play Bolton, bringing Bolton back into the mix. It's been a while since I played a deck with Bolton, but it fits super well into here, especially because Pikachu V has that zero retreat cost, which means it's very easy to get from uh, either open the Bolton or open the Flying Pikachu V, and then easily retreat turn one into the Bolton and use Electrify. And I've actually been choosing to go second with this deck, just get off a of turn one Electrify. And it also takes away a turn of like supporters from my opponent before they get to attack, because they basically get two turns to set up their first attack. So if they go first, they get no supporters. And then the second turn, they get a supporter and then they're attacking. But if we go first, we're not, we still have to use Bolton on our second turn. So they would get to go use a turn of supporters into use a turn of supporters. So I've been choosing to go second with this deck and it's been working out really well, but we set up our attackers with the Electrify. We get that energy on it to our flying peaks and then start using fly. And then sometimes we use Bolt Storm, but it doesn't come up too often, to be honest. We don't really, yeah, we rarely use Bolt Storm. We're usually just using fly and flying with the peaks, the victory. Uh, the rest of the deck, pretty straightforward, almost a two line deck, or actually it is a two line deck, not quite a full, we're like missing a space here. So it's like less than a two line deck. Uh, four great ball, four quick ball. I like the, great ball over something like evolution incense because finding bolt in turn one is such a big deal and we have plenty of time to try and find that flying peak so i like the great balls over something like evolution incense to help find the flying peak for pokey gear for research for marnie we don't want to play anything like crobat or any other supporting pokemon because we want our bench to literally be boltoned uh and then two flying pikachus and that's it we never bench anything else besides that that's the only things we ever put into play because we don't want our way our a way for our opponent to draw other prize cards besides those because that makes it a lot easier and they only have to go through one flying pikachu v max so that's it that's all we ever put in play is just those cards um couple switch so we can potentially move our bolton to the flying pikachu sooner if we want to that doesn't really come up too often though either the bolton gets ko'd or we just start attacking or use electrify again with the bolton so it doesn't come up too often that we need the switches that's why there's such a low count of them a couple tool scrappers because tool jammer is really annoying we need to be able to have access to our memory crystal so we need jammers to not be in play which means we need to get rid of them with our tool scrapper so two tool scrappers of course four research for marnie and then some boss a four glimmer tangle like i mentioned previously and quite a few energy we play 13 energy we don't need that many energy throughout a game but we really do not want to with energy attachments the turn one electrify is super important and then from there hitting attachments to make sure we're attacking or setting up our next flying pikachu v max is also very important so pretty high in the energy count with 13 of course speed lightning is actually just a great card to have to see more cards of course so we always want to play be playing four of those and that's the list let's go fly all right here we go getting into our first one i think i should just open the bolton just in case i can't retreat the flying pikachu if they're playing like Leafeon or something so i'm gonna open bolton to leave this on the bench from the first turn and i'm probably not Ooh, we're up against single strike so single strike is a pretty tough matchup it's not unwinnable and my opponent has a pretty slow start here so i don't think i'm gonna be too aggressive myself I'm gonna throw that down uh i might even hold the memory yeah we'll throw the memory capsule yeah they're pretty slow ah but do i want a marnie anyways no let's just go with electrify i think we're fine with this prized quite a few energy buys three basic lightning energy no speed lightning memory capsule uh research and something else a big peak okay yeah, and i, I could have got out i do want to get out like two v's as soon as possible to make them v maxes before our opponent can possibly chase them down potentially chase them down but i do want to like keep my odds open of getting to the first v max so i kind of want to hold on the great ball for that reason and they do have double hound doom out now they don't have much else so far but yeah i didn't really want to marnie because like well they don't have any they don't have like an attacker with an energy or anything like that it doesn't mean they're dead drawing of course but I don't want to like give them more cards if they are dead drawing <laughs> or if they have like a hand where it's like and yeah here we go darkness fang is coming up that might be all they have here so this is why you want to like definitely calculate the situation what is going on before you do something like play a marnie because they're loading up this hound doom so they're they're going pretty much all in on this hound doom it looks like and they're actually going all in all in on this hound doom four energy on the hound doom that's <laughs> that's a lot of energy on a hound doom <laughs> I wonder if their hand is just like two urn or something. They're like, I want this Houndoom to get knocked out. Play these urns. Uh, there's actually the boss on my flying Pikachu. For a second, I was like, do they KO it? No, they don't KO it. Uh, they do 110, 130, my bad. Okay, let's see if we can get, we really want to get research off this. So I'm going to play Great Ball first, actually. 
Uh, we're gonna get the Flying Peak VMAX, and then we're gonna play the Poke Gear. Hopefully, get a research. No research. I really still want a Marnie here, though, because I mean, I don't want a Marnie, but I do this thing because KOing this is huge. It's like so many energy off the board. And I could just retreat and electrify again. I could even boss up this Houndoom and try and stall that one. Because I wouldn't mind the energy being trapped on this Houndoom, to be honest. We go boss the other Houndoom, retreat, electrify to my peak. We could just play the Marnie, likely hit an energy, then knock this out, and then down a Houndoom and four energy, even though I give him a fresh hand. So I'm really torn on the play here. I think I'm going to go with the boss, retreat, electrify. Because my chance to top deck a, an energy is just so high. And I'm just going to take one energy out of the deck here and load up the peak. That way, if I top deck a switch, I can also attack with the peak still. Uh, but yeah, our chance to top deck here is so high. Uh, and energy, research, the switch, like so many outs that I'm going to play towards this uh, this line. And we whiffed again. So I keep going back and forth with my opponent. I think the answer is yes. We'll go ahead and pass back to my opponent. We'll let them get another draw. Then we'll get another draw. Once again, our outs are higher. But there goes a Tower of Darkness. So they're drawing cards once again. Uh, but we'll see if it's enough here. We'll see if there's enough cards to actually get something going. Just a scroll. And they got the Crobat. Okay, so they're back in it. Maybe I should have been more aggressive with the Marnie. The KO here would have been really big. And I could have gone for it. Would have let me utilize my Bolton as well. But now they have all these single strike energy trapped on this Houndoom. So it's still not a bad place to be, I don't think. Especially going down an urn as well. They're not going to be able to set up an attacker anytime soon. So I don't think we're in a terrible spot. But I could have been maybe a little bit more aggressive. I was just kind of weighing the odds of the top decks. Who has more top deck outs? And I'm pretty sure in that situation, I did. So I want to take that uh, into consideration. And be like, well, I just have more outs to top deck here. So I may as well take advantage of that and play towards that. Another Marnie. I am going to grab it here, actually, because I don't want to draw into a Marnie off this Marnie. I really want to draw into an energy. No, I would have played a research there, though, if I had found one. Because I still don't want to give them more cards to work with. We whiffed the energy. That is unfortunate, but we can still attack with the peak VMAX, actually. So I might just go for the attack instead of setting up another peak to remove this Houndoom from play. Because getting a Houndoom out of play of my opponents sounds pretty good. I could also just go set up this flying peak. Definitely want to throw down the Gl Glimwood Tangle, though. I think that's for sure something we want to do. And then I might just go... Yeah, we might just go knockout here. I'm kind of feeling just like going with the knockout. I will bench this flying... I should actually quick ball this flying peak and gotten another one. Uh, we do have to max balloon here because it doesn't have any damage on it. it does have that 130 hp so max balloon but that's fine yeah we should have quick balled this peak and got another peak because we're not putting any more any other things in play at this point so should have just done it like that but this is like not that big of a deal i don't think and we'll probably go into flies on the next turn i wonder if they're actually going to attack us with the houndoom here or if they're just going to retreat it but even then they're still stuck with two more single strike energy here which still makes things awkward for my opponent so yeah even if they do retreat it uh, I mean, if they retreat or attack, things get a little bit awkward. Because if they attack with it, they lose a Houndoom, which is also not great. So, yeah, just kind of not great in general for my opponent. No matter what they choose here, they're kind of having a bad time. We need to really get our second VMAX online, though. We need to get our second VMAX set up, ready to go as soon as possible. Just get that thing get that thing ready to go. We've been whiffing a couple energy attachments throughout the turns. But, of course, we haven't been finding those researches like we wanted. Here comes the Tower of Darkness attached to the Urshifu as well so they can get out yeah another Hound Hour is online this this Pikachu VMAX probably isn't going to be sticking around much longer to be honest it comes to evolution incense they can grab themselves an Umbreon here but I don't think they're going to do that or they did actually they could like bring up my Bolton I guess I can't attack with it and I did have to switch last turn so there would be oh no, they're just going to discard it with the Tower of Darkness I was like are they going to use it nope just Tower of Darkness it away draw some cards Seems reasonable to me. And a Marnie. That's great for us. We get Marnie here. I didn't want to put this capsule down last turn because they could probably or they probably play tool scrapper. Usually there's tool scrappers in these uh in these decks, so you don't want to lose it to that. Here's one of our tool scrappers. So I would love it if they put a tool jammer in play right here, because then we could get rid of it. But uh, if they don't, we don't really mind losing it too much. We do have the second one in the deck. I guess we'll see what the speed lighting gives us as well. Depending on what we draw off the speed lighting, we might want to go a different route. Here comes that. Darkness Fang, and we want to go for a Fly KO here. So I'm going to start with the Speed Lighting. Play the Poke Gear. Or Great Ball, my bad. And I think we're going to go with the Research here. I'm going to, I don't want to scrap or anything. I think we're going to go with the Research. Really just want to find a VMAX, want to find a Stadium. No VMAX, no Stadium. Uh, I could put the Memory Capsule down here. I could also have, I could also attach the Bolton and attack with Bolton this turn, but they do have the Umbreon to be able to chase us anyways. All right, memory capsule down there. 
I guess. And I could go for the fly, but it, I, I don't have the reflip. So I think I just want to go with the max balloon knockout. I could have gone for fly there, but I don't have the re the stadium to get the reflip. I don't have that glimmer tangle. So if I get tails, then the houndoom actually just knocks me out, which would be really weird, really awkward. So I don't want to go that route. I don't think I'm just going to take the KO on the houndoom. And then we'll kind of go from there. We don't get, we can't get hit by basic Pokemon, which is also a plus right now. So they can't, uh, they do have to V max to be able to hit us. They need a houndoom, but they need the houndoom as well to get the energy in play. They also need an urn to get the energy back in the deck to search out with the houndoom. They need to hit an energy attachment for turn. They don't have that many energy in the deck with all those single strike energies out of the deck and they need to get down the V max. So it's all possible, all doable, uh, but they do need, okay, well they're, they're cruising so far. <laughs> they're cruising so far. Uh, air balloon as well to the Umbreon. Here comes the research. They need an urn and an energy for turn to be able to attack this turn. And then they will be able to knock me out. There's the urn. Yeah, so actually they're drawing, they're, they're doing it. That's for sure. Making it work so far. Uh, the single strike roar, but do they have the, uh, they do. Okay. All right. We're getting knocked out. All right. Beat down, coming down. Goodbye. Peak did your best <clears throat> was not enough. Another urn as well. So they completely recovered all their single strike energy. I guess it wasn't that big of a deal the whole time. So we're about to be going into solo peak territory where we need this peak to carry us. Yeah, about to be entering solo peak territory. They're going to knock out my active here. We unfortunately don't. Oh, maybe I was aggressive with that capsule there. There's that tool scrapper I was talking about. We do have a little bit of time to get another memory capsule, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little bit of time to get another memory capsule here. You know, one of their cards is a V. They're going to be in three random cards with the prize. I don't really want to. I still have those cards as well. I guess we are going to Marnie. I don't really want a Marnie, it feels like, but I've definitely got a Marnie here. And we are going to be attacking with the Bolt in this turn. We're just going to Electrify set up this Pikachu V. This is what happens when you whiff attachments. You have to like go back into Bolton sometimes, which is really awkward. So you don't want to whiff attachments. All right. Send the Flying Peak up. Uh, and then we're going to go Quick Ball away a Lightning. I'm going to thin out the deck here. Grab a Bolton. And then quick ball away the Bolton to grab a Bolton and then attach the speed lightning to the active draw into the memory capsule is great. And then we're going to Marnie, hopefully find a V max here to protect this V. The V is a lot easier to KO than the V max, no V max. So that kind of stinks. So we're going to go with an electrify this turn. I can actually extend out the deck a little bit more and get rid of the lightning. I'm going to grab the Bolton back. Cause we're going to shuffle the deck anyway. So it doesn't matter what was Marnie to the bottom there. Do this again and grab this. Plenty of outs. Three stadiums. Yeah, we have a good chance to get everything we need on the next turn. We just have to hope our opponent does not have the KO on our flying peak. We're going to even thin out all the energy here and just load up our peak at this point. Uh, and it's just all good, ready to go. If they have a boss here, though, we are going to be in trouble. Oh, not a boss, an Umbreon plus G Max one blow. But they're gonna, they might struggle to get the G-Max one blow play off. Uh, they probably wouldn't be struggled too much. They probably could pretty easily draw into a single strike energy. They don't have much deck left. And then how do another one out? And then Umbreon. Actually, it's pretty likely that my Pikachu goes down here. <laughs> That's why it was so important to get the V-Max out because we actually have resistance to fighting. So they need like a four energy or was it three energy? How much HP does this thing have again? 310? They need a four energy, right? A four energy G-Max one blow because of resistance. It's four energy. Yeah, four energy G Max one bloated because of resistance. Uh, there's the attach. They can they didn't single strike roar though. So they don't have that energy yet. They do have all four single strike energy in the deck though. So maybe I just lose no matter what at this point. Because I mean, yeah, they have all of their energy. Bird keeper down, switch down, air balloon down. Maybe I could trap something with a boss. Maybe that has to become my play. Okay, well now they split up their energy here. They have one here. They can't get it off it because of the air balloon. Okay, so now they can't get four energy for a, a G Max one blow. That would actually one hit KO. Do I have any speed lighting left? I do, so I can actually attack with Bolton still. Mean look, so I can't retreat. There's the peak V Max. Interesting choice from my opponent here to split up their energy like that. All right, let's see here. Now, what were they? What were they so afraid of that the peak was going to bring to the table? G Max one blow doesn't do it anymore. All right, switch into peak. It's getting close now. Definitely an error on my opponent's side, though, putting that energy there, I think. Could attack with the Bolton. We are doing 6-180. Yeah, the Bolton attack here is pretty good. But then we put the energy in the discard pile again, and then if they have their last urn, plus attach... That's so unlikely to have all of that, though, I feel like. So if I can go Bolton knockout, get boss off Poke Gear next turn, which is almost guaranteed, because I think the boss is in the deck. I feel like the Bolton attack is just really good. But I could just go... Because I'm going to KO this with Peak anyways, theoretically. 
Let's just go with the Bolton play. Two Poke Gears now. The boss is actually in the hand. Treat. It's been a while since I've used Bolton to take a knockout, but here we go. 190 knockout. Get ourselves a couple prize cards. And then we're now just a boss away. Oh, no, we don't win. I can't KO anything. <laughs> we don't just win, actually, with a boss KO. I take it all back. I thought we just had the win. But here comes the Umbreon. They're going to bring up my Flying Peak. But they need the Single Strike energy now. So they have to have an attacher. They need all four. Because we do have that resistance of minus 30. They're currently doing 210. Or 310, my bad. But they need two more Single Strike energy. One is in the discard pile. And they are down three urns. They have one urn left to find it. They don't get that urn. They also need to earn it and then draw into the energy. Here's a research. They haven't used the urn yet. So this would be, they would need to draw into the urn and then a single, they're out of Tower of Darkness, actually. So there's the urn, but now they need to get access to that energy. The last three cards in their deck, can they get access to it? Quick ball here. Do they have another Crobat, maybe? That's the only thing I can think about that would draw them cards here. Two Crobat? All right, no Crobat. Now we have Boss plus Bolton to KO the Crobat. This is actually such a wild game. <laughs> such a crazy game. Definitely a misstep from my opponent putting that Umbreon, the energy on the Umbreon. Take advantage of that. Maybe not in the best way. We went with the Bolton knockout. They did need, did need quite a bit this turn to actually pull, still pull off the knockout on the Flying Pikachu. And it looks like they might just come up a card short. And then we can go boss, knockout, Crobat, and we'll actually get the dub. Bolton putting in big work in this one. And that can still come up. I mean, Bolton still hits pretty hard if you just, like, let a lot of lighting energy build up in play. So that's what my opponent has done just here. We built up quite a bit of lighting energy despite all those early attachment whiffs. And yeah, they're just a beatdown, but we have the boss to KO the Crobat. What a crazy game. What a crazy game. And Bolton will get the dub. Big Peak, not the star of the show in this one. And yeah, that's the dub. A little bit of an awkward hand in this one. We don't have an out to a Bolton yet. And we don't really want to research away like double Flying Peak. I mean, research wouldn't be terrible here as long as we have the other Flying Pikachus in the deck, to be honest. But hopefully we top deck a Bolton or a Quick Ball or i mean will be another good top deck here quick ball bolton uh great ball into bolton also works so there's quite a few top decks that would actually work pretty well here and we're actually up against zation zamazenta so our win condition in this one is actually just to use max balloon and we prevent all damage from basic pokemon but then we have to win the deck out situation so we need our opponent to like burn cards un unknowing how to win the matchup uh because we actually can't hit zamazenta we could just attack with flying pikachu with fly but then if our opponent, if we have a whiff, then our opponent just one KOs us with the Zacian. So just using Max Balloon over and over is usually the route. And as long as our opponent plays down more cards than we do, we will actually win the game. So that is kind of our, going to be our strategy here is just use, use the, the Max Balloon. So if we just top deck a Bolton here, we're going to be in a pretty good spot. No Bolton top deck. I think I am just going to go for the research. We could go for the Poke Gear, uh, but we only need to get one flying Pikachu VMAX online. It's going to be so much harder to find these though, if I don't have them. So maybe we do... No Marnie, so we don't even have that option anyway. So Glimwood Tangle Research, here we come. Hopefully, we can find the Bolton Energy here. And then getting into the VMAX is the thing I'm more concerned with. But what? No energy hits. Wow. Uh, we play a lot of energy. We play a lot of... Actually, we got nothing in this hand to work with. Going to grab ourselves another Bolton here. Bench Bolton and pass. Wow. No energy at all. We play 13 energy for a reason. Because we don't want to whiff energy attachments. We did have one in the hand, I guess but then did not have the Bolton to work with it. So we're not out of this game yet, but we are now ahead on the deck out situation, which like I just mentioned, can be a pretty big deal. We want to be behind on the deck out situation, but our opponent's going opponent's to play their turn and we'll see if once again, they kind of catch on to what's going on at all and try and play it slower. It looks like, no, they're still playing cards pretty aggressively. And I'm sure they're like focused on trying to get this one hit KO on my flying Pikachu V and on our turn, I mean, hopefully our opponent Marnies us this turn, to be honest. Hopefully they hit us with a Marnie. Hopefully that's all they have for a draw support. There it is. There's the Marnie. All right. So VMAX, Bolton, energy for Bolton is our goal here. And then we're going to set up pretty cleanly to be able to get into the, or got to research. Once again, we don't want to play the research because then we're going to head on the deck out situation once again. But if my opponent doesn't kind of catch on to what's going on. And it won't be that big of a deal. And that's also why I didn't attach the memory capsule last turn. I'm not, I could attach this one, I guess. This is Mr. Memory Capsule. I can attach if we're going to research it away, anyways. Um, okay, got the energy for the Bolton. We still need to find the V Max, though. And with two discarded, it might be a little bit tough. So I think I am going to go with the research here. Uh, and once again, we're kind of kind of hope that our opponent keeps playing cards. Because um, otherwise, it's going to be hard for us to win if they don't keep playing cards. So here we go. Electrify. Because we're also taking two of these out of our deck as well. So we got three Great Ball and two Peak V Max in the deck. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep, we'll keep taking cards out of our deck. So we need our opponent to keep taking cards out of their deck and kind of match us on that. And then at some point, we're just going to stop. And then hopefully our opponent doesn't notice what's going on. 
we stop taking cards out of our deck. We start using the max balloon. They'll probably catch on that. Oh, they can send up Zamazenta. And then they kind of, you know, bop us with that. Uh, here comes the chase on my peak V. Of course, this is annoying if they have back-to-back -back boss KOs on my Pikachu Vs. This is why it's important for us to get the V Max out. So it's not a V. Uh, <laughs> so it's not a V. That's basically the reason. All right. Goodbye, Peak V. You did. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to say you did your best. You didn't really do anything. Uh, let's see if we can't get this one into a V Max. So once again, it's hard for our opponent, harder for our opponent to KO. We're off return. It is a Marnie. I can go ahead and use some quick balls here. Thin out the deck a little bit. Grab the bolt end. And then quick ball the bolt. And once again, though, we got to be careful. We are behind on cards here. So we need our opponent to kind of get back into the, the card playing ways. Okay, we got the Pikachu V Max. And now we can just kind of chill. Don't have to. We're just going to go into an Electrify. We're not going to play the Marnie Electrify. And I'm just going to search out one energy here. Oh, I still probably should search out two, though, because Zamazenta can discard special energy. So we do need to actually like triple basic on the Pikachu V Max to make sure we can keep attacking turn after turn after turn. Uh, but we are the first person to be decking out here. So this is where I need, once again, we need our opponent to just keep playing cards. I did not realize what's going on here. There we go. Another Oranguru hits the bench. Here comes the Rotom Phone. We have to keep up with this. <laughs> we have to keep doing this. And yep, maybe they get a research here. Play a research. That'd be great if they played a research here. Another energy comes down. Okay, another Rotom Phone. This is all good stuff. Once again, a research being played would be sick. That would catch them up. That would put them in the uh, in the lead of deck out. And that's what we need here. And I don't think they play any way to recover cards. Like, we don't play any way to recover cards. I don't think... I also don't think they play any way to recover cards. So, we'd both be kind of at that point where... Um, we both kind of lose to that situation. Okay, here comes a quick ball. Once again, all good stuff to see. They grab a Zation. And then research one time research okay they're still not ahead we're still 23 23 so when i top deck for turn i'm still going to be losing the game first but if my opponent decides to play a couple more cards like it or use an intrepid sword we're all of a sudden losing the deck we, they have more cards in their hand though which is going to be uh more cards in their hand in their deck so whether they marnie they'll have more less cards so it's still like favors them i think overall we do need a third basic energy on this flying pikachu v max so i think i am going to go electrify once more and then just pass over to my opponent and then so we need them to play a couple more cards and hopefully they they play a couple more cards this turn there's a stadium that's a one card let's see what else they've got there's an attachment to the zamazenta okay that's good another card down they're also decking out first and they have two less cards in deck so they're gonna have to marnie way sooner than us that also a card they'll burn is the marnie so they've what three six nine cards another card being played we're almost there a rotom phone comes down i think we have got them right where we want them in the situation now i think they'll be decking out first for sure and we'll have to play marnie and then we'll slowly deck out from here on out i think we've got them right where we want them that's how you tackle this matchup it's, it's a little weird it can be pretty tough we can also use bolton to get through zamazenta but it's not very reliable because we can't really build up that much energy into play and the stations put on so much pressure so fast that it's hard for us to keep boltons in play with enough energy to actually be able to attack zamazenta so it's never the route we really want to go the other route we can try and take is setting up just like a pikachu v and using fly um but that's not usually a route we want to take either they're going with the boss hit here but we're just going to draw we're just going to use max balloon and we're going to repeat that process. If they play Escape Rope, I guess the one saving grace here for my opponent could be an Escape Rope play. So if they play an Escape Rope, they could send the Flying Peak to the bench and then boss it back to the active. There's a boss. Do they have an Escape Rope? There's a heal on the Zation. They could just be trying to trap my Bolt End, I guess, which actually could work, to be honest. They could just be trying to trap my Bolt End. And to be honest right now, I can't play the Speed Lightning or I would be decking out first. So I don't want to do that, but I do need to retreat my Bolt End and attack trepid sword so if they if they had it i don't think they would play it this way so we need to go attach retreat here i'm gonna attach the basic lightning and retreat and then we're just gonna go with that max balloon we'll also get two cards off the prize cards here which now adds to our card pool so we're still we still kind of lose to escape rope to be honest but there's nothing we can really do about that if they have escape rope they have escape rope so we're just gonna keep playing the game get some prize cards now I didn't want to hard retreat. Well, we have to hard retreat the bolt and they can't make that play again. The play they could have been looking for there was like boss and then next turn boss the peak knock it out and hope I can't move the bolt in, but we were able to move the bolt in, so that just doesn't matter to be honest. So really now it just comes down to does my opponent play escape rope and and can they have their fourth boss because they also need the fourth boss to go escape rope and then boss the flying Pikachu back up. So if their fourth boss is just prized, I guess they could double escape rope. 
Um, but we can't really play around that. I don't want to put another Bolton in play. Well, I mean, yeah, well, if we put another Bolton in play, they could go escape rope. There's the boss, but that's their last boss. They have escape rope, like I said. We do lose, but now they gave us an opportunity where, like, if they have the escape rope, but they don't have it this turn, if we can just get the Bolton out of the active, we do still just win. But they actually just might take the knockout here. But now they do not even an escape rope target. I guess they could play Echoing Horn would be the only combo I can think of now. Echoing Horn plus escape rope. Um, and we could play around that by getting to a new Pikachu VMAX, to be honest. So we could play around that. But I think if we just Max Balloon, we'll win. Uh, but I guess when I bench the Pikachu V, they could have the escape rope. So I guess we don't want to do that. So we don't want to put down the Pikachu V because then we lose to just escape rope, not escape rope echoing horn. Here comes the assault tackles from the station or Zamazenta, but it just doesn't matter at this point. They can't get through the max balloon assault tackle. They get rid of my energy, but we have three basic energy and we're just going to keep max ballooning over and over and over again. I can't even misclick retreat instead of attack. And yeah, <laughs> we can't get hit by basic Pokemon. We have way more cards in our deck than our opponent. So we'll just win the deck out, deck out war, deck out situation here, whatever you want to call it. Um, they have more, they have plenty of Marnies left, but there's there's no way for them to not deck out first, which means they have to always be the first person to play the Marnie. But they do still have that out of, like I said, they have the out of the Echoing Horn slash Escape Rope. So if they have that, then they can still win. But if not, we just get the dub. So uh, it looks like my opponent plans to stick around for a little while here. So I'll be back in a second when we end up winning the game and my opponent concedes. All right, and that's going to do it. They finally conceded. Once they realized what was fully going on, they played one Marnie. And then after that, they played for a couple more turns. And they were like, wait a second. Uh, I can't win. I was like, yeah, you can't win. They conceded and we get the double with Flying Peak. And that's how you do it up against the Zacian Zama Center deck. And of course, if they all figure out how to play the matchup, it's not. It's going to be way harder to get dubs. But if they don't, the dubs are there to take advantage of. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video with the Flying Peak. If you did, give the video a like. Enjoy the content. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell. And I will see you uh, tomorrow.